It all starts with who you are. Who you are is more important than what you do because who you are is your character. And your character is an accumulation of your thoughts, your habits, and your priorities on a day-to-day -day basis because those three things determine the choices you make and the choices you make make you who you are. That happiness and success is available for every last one of you. But I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna have to do. You gotta change your mindset. If you plan on being successful, you have to change this here. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is right here. It ain't no difference. It ain't none. I ain't got no more than none of y'all got. God gave me the same thing he gave y'all. But you have got to change your mindset. If you want to become the best version of who you are supposed to be, risk is required, period. Whatever success means to you, properly define it, but always look at it in terms of, do I love what I do? Do I know what I'm doing? If opposition and adversity happens, will I still believe in what I'm doing? Can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? Can you be committed to it in the midst of opposition, in the midst of adversity? Because if you can be committed to it in the midst of opposition, in the midst of adversity, now you can believe in it. So when it goes wrong and it doesn't play in your favor, you can still believe in what you're doing and you're not gonna run, love what you're doing, know what you're doing, but above all, believe in what you're doing, man. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. The time is now to start that dream. The time is now to start that idea. The time is now to set standards and stand by them. The time is now in your life. Once fear is acted upon, the death of fear is certain. If you had six months to live, what would you do differently? Would you have the same job? Would you be worried about things that you're worried about right now? Would you have the same relationships? Would you have the same people in your life? When no one sees those hours, those countless moments, when you're grinding, when it's just you, but God and you. And you gotta trust that God gave you the ability and the opportunity and the desire to be more so you can serve more. So you might as well keep watering that dream every day. And sometimes the water that you give your dream are the tears of frustration because you haven't had it yet. Stay that hungry, stay that mad, stay that frustrated, but put that fuel in the tank of purpose and drive yourself to the next level. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time, even when you don't want it to be there. You can't stop yourself right now from thinking. You can't do it. It's going on. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. Playing small does not only affect you. Why do you play small? Why do you choose to remain silent when you know you were meant to speak up? Stop looking at the enemy and thinking that the challenges that you face, that there's a glass ceiling, that there's someone holding you back and remember that you were born for greatness and that you have a record of all of your own. You've defeated bigger challenges than this. 
This one just happens to be the newest one. Don't let your fear outweigh your faith. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, just hope. You ain't even really got to believe. All you got to do is hope. Whatever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. There are too many of us that are waiting for right situations to produce. What I'm asking you is, yeah, you went through a hard season, and yeah, another one might be up ahead, but what are you producing in the middle? Constantly rewrite your book every day of your life. These are conversations I have with myself, and I say it everywhere I go, the most important conversation when you have with yourself. You live with it every single day, but most of our conversations are not the right ones. but failure is the most information-rich data stream on planet Earth. But to accurately assess the data and figure out what it's telling you about why you failed to some extent or why it was more inefficient than it needs to be, you have to be willing to stare nakedly at your own inadequacies, take responsibility for the outcome, not make it somebody else's fault or the economy's fault or whatever, any external force, you're making it an external problem. You're never going to be able to learn the lesson you need to learn in order to improve your behavior so that you can then execute better and make more progress. Moving forward, set higher standards in your fitness, in your ability to worry, to speak, enough with setting low standards and hitting those standards and being proud of yourself. Like, fuck, man, let's get to it. Stop saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. You're going to die never even trying to reach your full potential. Hopelessness is a state of mind. Don't live your entire life hopeless and unfulfilled. Go to your dream. And if you never make it, if you die before you get to your dream, die going to your dream. At least you will finish this world, not just setting, saying, man, if only. There are no if onlys. There is, what are we going to do now? There comes a time in every man's walk in his development. In his dreams and aspirations, he has to realize that there are limitations. That is not a negative, that is not a line in the sand that you can't cross, but it's a barrier. And when you come across that barrier, you have two choices. I am either blocked in or I'm locked in by that, or I step over it with authority saying, that will not be the line that stops me in life. Some call that the Mendoza line, that's the average line, that's someone who doesn't go for greatness. But if you ever dare to be more, you got to be willing to cross that line. You see, the line is there as a measuring stick of what makes a man or a woman great. It's the measuring stick that tells you whether or not you have enough within you to be able to overcome everything that comes up against you. You can't be who you used to be and who you're going to be at the same time, right? At a certain point, you got to sacrifice something. Every next level of our lives demands a new version of us. You're trying to accomplish new goals, new dreams, and new aspirations. But you're operating from an old place mentally. And so when you say, is your software updated, what I'm referring to is knowledge base, environment, people, things you're trying to accomplish, is it updated?